For decades, you've seen these ads for X-ray specs in the back of magazines, but the reality of those things is uh, they never really worked. You couldn't see anybody's skeleton or underwear. They were just made out of paper. This technology is actually becoming a reality, though. Of course, what this does is it allows you to uh, see through things. We'll talk to the guy who's inventing the real Superman vision specs coming up. Here's the question for you. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? How about Superman's vision? KTLA's Dave Malkoff has tracked out a scientist who's making that a reality. If you're a kid of a certain age and you used to read comics, well, you remember this ad. Definitely a big part of my childhood. X-ray goggles are still on sale here at Aussie Dots in Los Angeles. Oh, you can't even see anything through I these. know, I know, really. There's yeah. not even a hole. Wait, you can't... Oh, it's supposed to be... Wait, that is weird. Of course, they never worked, but we met an engineer from the University of Texas at Dallas, Dr. Ken O, oh, who's building the real thing in this lab. The way that you're going to do it, you know, you have images back there, and then you'll see this display to see it. In the near future, Dr. O oh wants to install Superman vision on everyone's phone using something called terahertz waves. Now, classically, the way Superman did it was he would... <laughs> kind of emit a beam from his eyes, look inside the building, see what kind of criminal activity was going on there. As long as the building's not made of lead. Well, actually, the phone is going to do the same thing once they get the technology worked out with a terahertz emitter on the back of your phone. It will shine that beam in there, and just like radar, whatever bounces back will show up on the screen of your phone as your Superman vision. Of course, what this does is it allows you to uh, see through things. This kind of radiation isn't x-ray. It's a much lower frequency than that. It's lower than tanning beds, lower than any of the colors that you see with your eyes, lower than that remote remote control you have sitting next to you, and there it is right there, terahertz. It's just above microwave radiation, radar, and radio. Sending something out is like the, uh, the flash bulb that you have in a camera. This is what happens when you flash terahertz into a wallet. Take an ordinary envelope, add terahertz, and you see what's inside. For instance, if you have a piece of chocolate, and if there are hidden objects in there, like a piece of blade or something like that. I'd want to go into like all the scientific buildings and see what they're working on. And CIA just kinda... headquarters? Yeah, yeah, definitely. What are they building in there? These crazy ideas and superpowers. Uh, but, you know, eventually those are the kind of imaginations that sort of got buried into me. Dr. O says you can use the Superman vision in your phone to detect counterfeit cash, cracks in artwork, or just maybe. Scan yourself for detection of things like skin cancer. But since you have to be very close to the object you're scanning... See what we got here? Oh! It's unlikely you'll be able to see through close. Well, you know, you are the person has to be pretty well within the what I call the slapping distance. <laughs> Seeing through walls is good enough for Gina. Clark. Oh, my God. Your last name is Clark? Mm-hmm. I know someone whose first name is Clark. Oh, wow. Who can see through walls. Oh, no. His last name's Kent. No, it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> it loves Felix Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. <laughs> There's a movie to be made about that. I wonder, maybe a few of them. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right. Coming up, high octane.